Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, welcome out here to Baltimore, Maryland for the second stop out here on Arena Championship Series East. But before we can begin this morning's Monster Jam action, we would love to thank all of those who have served our country. Monster Jam was built right here in the USA. And we are super grateful and thankful to have the, the freedom to do all these shows for you fans in attendance. When we've served in United States military, whether that be the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard, please rise and thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America. This morning's national anthem is going to be presented by the Avengers Racing and the Steel Titan Sports League. Everybody, please be sure to go check out these channels because they are really cool. Now, everybody, please rise and remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem by Avengers Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats and squid hats as we now present our nation's colors. Coming out to the track first, your 2023 Arena Championship Series Central winner out of Fortville, Indiana, this is Zach Garner in Wildside. Coming out to the track next, your current Arena Championship Series East points leader out of Lafayette, Louisiana. This is Cody Saussier in Dragon. Both 
Baltimore, Maryland, get loud and say with me because this is Monster Jam. Mm -hmm. Mm Coming out first, your current points leader out of Lafayette, Louisiana, this is Cody Saussier in Dragon. Versus in the other lane, representing for Overboard Motorsports, this is Chad Tingler in Overboard, who will get the win and advance on to the next round, the semifinals. Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Overboard getting caught in the wall will allow for Cody Saussier and Dragon to get the win. Next up, representing being blonde to the bone out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, this is Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger. Versus in the other lane, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some struggles here for Kristen will allow for Mondo Castro and El Toro Loco to get the win. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got a battle between the Hall Brothers out here, representing for the Hall Brothers Racing Team. We've got Mark Hall in Raminator versus Kurt Kramer in Ramunition. Who will get the win and go to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very fast pass out here from Mark Hall and Raminator will get the win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is now time for the final race out here in round number one. We've got Zach Garner in Wildside versus Angelina Knock in Megalodon. Who will go to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm. Mm -hmm. And your winner is going to be Zach Garner in Wildside. It is now time to kick off the semifinals out here with Cody Saussier in Dragon versus Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. Who will go to the final round? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your winner is going to be Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
who's going to go to the final round to face off against Armando Castro. And El Toro Loco, will it be Zach Garner in Wildside or will it be Mark Hall in Raminator? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These two drivers were very fast in round one. They're going to throw down even faster passes out here in the semifinals. But Zach Garner in wild side will get the win and advance on to the finals. JCB Racing Competition. And we started off the morning with eight of the fastest Monster Jam competitors. And we're now down to the fastest two. So, Baltimore, are you ready to meet our final round contenders? Coming out first, your 2023 Arena Series Central Champion out of Fortville, Indiana. This is Zach Garner in Wildside. Versus in the other lane representing the Crazy Bull. This is Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. Who will get the win and get the first eight points here of the morning? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zach Garner with some mess ups will cost him. Which means your racing winner is going to be none other than Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. Great job out of Armando Castro for picking up this win last Sunday in Greensboro. He struggled um, as he ended up finishing near the bottom in racing after a round one loss. But now he came out here to Baltimore this morning and he, and he did well and he's going to pick up the racing win. Armando definitely needed this to catch up in the points. This great job for Armando Castro and El Toro Locos. He's going to pick up the first eight points here of the morning. Mm, 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 mm. All right, Monster Jam fans, it is now time for our second competition here of the morning, the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Each driver is going to get two opportunities to perform their, their best maneuvers on two wheels. Some of the two maneuvers you may see these drivers do out here are Sky Wheelies, Slap Wheelies, Soppies, Moonwalks, Poppers, Bicycles, or maybe even a combination of these moves. So, Baltimore, Maryland. Get loud if you're ready for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out first, representing over for Overboard Motorsports, this is Chad Tingler in Overboard. Nice little stoppy for Chad Tingler. One more attempt left to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice of skying that overboard and going really big. And that's going to be the end of the run out for Chad Singler in overboard. Mm -hmm. Your score for Chad Singler in overboard is going to be a 24. That is going to be him good enough for the lead to kick things off out here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out next, representing being blonde to the bone out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. This is Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger. Nice 
reverse popper. Mm -hmm. Twisting the front two VK8 tires. And she is going to set it down. One more attempt left to go. Nice reverse wheeling here, and she's got a combo into a stoppy. Mm, 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 mm. And she's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out for Kristen, a Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. Mm, mm, mm. Your score for Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger is going to be a 28. That is going to be good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. Coming out next, representing for Hall Brothers Racing, this is Kirk Kramer in Ramunition. Nice little pop around here for Kirk Kramer in Ramunition. One more attempt left to go. Nice there's Sky Willy and that's gonna be the end of the run out of Kirk Kramer and Ram Munition. Your score for Kirk Kramer and Ram Munition is going to be a 20. Good enough out here for third place. Your leader is still gonna remain Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger. Coming out next. And this in, in her rookie season, this is Angelina Knock in Megalodon. Nice there, big skyly iron for Angelina Knock. One more attempt left to go out here for Megalodon. Another big Skywheelie out here. Mm, 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 mm. And she's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out for Angelina Knock in Megalodon. Mm, mm, mm. Your score for Angelina Knock in Megalodon is gonna be a 24. That is going to be good enough for third place. Your leader is gonna remain Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. Coming out next out of Lafayette, Louisiana, this is Cody Saucier in Dragon. Breathing that fire on the mouth, I'm ready to throw down an epic skills run. Nicer popper, nicer not popper, but nicer tombstone off of the eight pack. And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Nice little bicycle, and that's gonna be the end of the run out here for Cody Saucier in Dragon. Your score for Cody Saucier in Dragon is going to be a 40. Your brand new leader is going to be Cody Saucier in Dragon. Coming out next, I'm thanks for the Hall Brothers Racing. This is Mark Hall in Raminator. Mm -hmm. Nice reverse popper off of 
Off the eighth act right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Mark is gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Kind of getting a Scott lead right there, but it's not gonna work out. And that's gonna be the end of the run for Mark Hall and Raminator. Mm -hmm. Your score for for Mark Hall in Raminator is going to be a 20. Good enough for sixth place. And your leader will still remain to be Cody Saucier in Dragon. Coming out next out of Fort Bill, Indiana, this is Zach Garner in Wildside. Nice or soppy moonwalk combo here, twisting those back to BKT tires. Nice there combo here. Soppy moonwalk in the wheelie combo. One more attempt left to go. And that's a little vice score right there for Zach Garner and Wildside, and that's going to be the end of the run. Mm, 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 mm. Your score for Zach Garner and Wildside is going to be a 36. Good enough for second place. Your leader is going to remain Cody Saucier in Dragon. Coming out last, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Blowing that smoke here out of the nostr nostrils as Mondo Castro is getting ready to line up for his two attempts. Tombstone off that eight pack. And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Nice here, Popper. And you're off of the eight act right here. Mm -hmm. Here comes Scoops to come flip over the truck. That truck flipped back over and they're now going to tow him back to the pits. Your score for Mondo Castro and El Toro Loco is going to be a 36. That's only going to be good enough out here for third place, which means your great clip skills challenge winner is going to be none other than... Cody Saucier in Dragon! Congratulations, Zyra, to Cody Saucier in Dragon for picking up this win out here. You know, he did two amazing hits. He did a nice epic tombstone off the 8-pack thing. did that bicycle, which is really hard to do in these small arena floors to get the traction. So, just great job out here for Cody Saucier in Dragon. Definitely need that so after um, a bit of a bummer in racing. And so he's definitely gonna use that out here. Gonna carry his momentum like this into the second half of 
this afternoon and of this morning's event as everybody it is now half time so everybody go get your food your water your snacks stretch a little bit and be sure to come back in half an hour for the second half of this morning's competitions with the monster jam donut competition and the bkt tires freestyle competition you guys do not want to miss Alrighty, monster jam fans it is now time to kick off the second half of this morning's monster jam event out here with the monster jam donut competition each driver is going to get one attempt to pull off their best donut some of the stuff the judges are looking for in judging these donuts are the speed, the amount of rotations, and how long they can donut for. So, Baltimore, Maryland, get loud if you're ready for the Monster Jam Donut Competition. Coming out last, representing for All Brothers Racing, this is Kirk Kramer in Ramunition. Nice donut as Kurt Kramer is going to nail it. Your score for Kurt Kramer in Grand Munition is going to be a 32. That is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the Monster Jam Donut Competition. Coming out next, I'm saying for Overboard Motorsports, this is Chad Singler in Overboard. <laughs> Nice donut right there for overboard, and that's going to be the end of the run. Your score for Chad Tingler in overboard is going to be a 32. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Kirk Kramer in Ramunition. Coming out next, also representing for the Hall Brothers Racing Team, this is Mark Hall in Raminator. <laughs> and he's just gonna donut it into the ground, and that's gonna be the run out of Mark Hall in Raminator. Here comes Team Howard Kenneth to flip over the truck and fall back to the pits. <laughs> Your score for Mark Hall and Raminator is going to be a 20. Good enough for third place. Your leader is still going to remain Kurt Kramer and Ramunition. Coming out next in her rookie season, this is Angelina Nock in Megalodon. <laughs> nice donut right there for Megalodon, and that is going to be the end of the run. <laughs> Your score for Angelina Knock in Megalodon is going to be a 32. Good enough for third place. Your leader is still going to remain Kurt Kramer in Ramunition. Coming out next, representing being Guantanamo Bone out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, this is Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Kristen's just going to donut it. And is gonna crash it in right there, and that is going to be the end of the run. So crash it right down the pod, just unable to nail that donut. And then tow Grave Digger back to the pits and get him ready to go for the second half of the, for the freestyle competition. Your score for Kristen Anderson and Grave Digger is going to be a 24. Good enough for fourth place. Your leader is still going to remain Kirk Kramer and Ray Munition. Coming out next. Oh, brought up the wrong team. That's uh, my bad. Coming out next. Representing. Oh, shoot. I actually got the wrong truck guy. I had the right theme, but the wrong truck out here and then fixing that up coming out next we're gonna lock get louisiana this is cody Saucier in dragon <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Nice donut as Cody is going to nail it. Cody's had trouble in the donut competition in the past, so it's great to see him nail a donut out here. Your score for Cody Sophie and Dragon's gonna be a 28. That is going to be good enough for fourth place. Your leader is still gonna remain Kirk Kramer and Ramunition. Coming out next, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice donut out here for Armando Castro and El Toro Locos. That's going to be the end of the run. Your score for Armando Castro and El Toro Loco is going to be a 36. Your brand new leader is going to be Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Coming out last out of Fort Bill, Indiana, this is Zach Garner in Wildside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, he's just gonna donut it and park it back in the pits. Wow. He just literally reversed into the pits out of that donut. Wow. What a donut out of Zach Garner and Wildside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your score for Zach Garner in Wildside is locked in, and it's going to be a 40. Your Monster Jam donut competition winner is going to be none other than Zach Garner in Wildside. Great job out here for Zach Garner and Wildside. He had a crazy donut. You know, he had a lot of revolu resolutions going around in circles. He had, a mount he had a lot of rotations. And he had a lot of speed. And then he just went in and reversed and back into the pits. I mean, that is just crazy. Just, wow, what a donut from Zach Garner and Wildside. As that will um, get him the win. And he's going to get the next eight points of the uh, of the morning. As we're now going to head into our final competition of the morning, the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, it is now time for our final competition here of the morning. The BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Each driver here is going to get two minutes to tear up the track to do some of their biggest and best moves. Some of the stuff that makes see these drivers do on this track are donuts, technical maneuvers, huge air, crazy saves, a backflip, or maybe even something wild, crazy, and new we've never even seen before. Some of the stuff the judges are looking for when judging these freestyle runs are creativity, momentum, breathtaking saves, huge, ver huge vertical air, wild factors, the use of all obstacles, and the completion of the time. So, Baltimore, get loud for me one last time if you're ready for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Coming out first representing for Overboard Motor Sports, this is Chad Singler in Overboard. And the two minutes starts now that he's just gonna sky it. Chad debuting this awesome brand new red overboard out here. It surely does look amazing. Thing and this one amazing scheme out here. Here for overboard out here. That Chad Tingler is running. Great donut. Mm-hmm. 
And that's going to be the end of the run out here for Chad Singler in Overboard. Your score for Chad Singler in Overboard is going to be a 28. That is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Coming out next, representing for the All Brothers Racing, this is Kurt Kramer in Ramunition. Kurt Kramer representing his blue Ramunition out here. Debuting, for, debuting this brand new scheme out here. Out here this morning, this blue, nice blue ramunition. This is some really cool out here that they have out here that the whole brothers have made. Kramer in Ramunition. Your score for Kurt Kramer in Ramunition is going to be a 20. Good enough out here for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Chad Tingler in Overboard. Coming out next, our team being Blonde to the Bone out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. This is Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger. Kristen is going big out here. Here is, you know, Weston, her younger brother Weston went big out here last year and we were in Baltimore. You so, you know, Kristen wants to fulfill from that and live up to that from last year. Great save out here for... Kristen Anderson. Great save I have for Kristen Anderson. Kristen is currently in second to last place in the overall event championship standings. And Kristen has not had a good start to her season this year, so she's something to pick things up here in this freestyle to kind of just try to climb up. 
Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. Mm-hmm. Your score for Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger is going to be a 35. Your brand new leader is going to be Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. Coming out next out of Fort Bill, Indiana, this is Zach Garner in Wildside. Mm-hmm. In his two minutes, we'll start now. going big. He's also had a struggling start to the season. He's hoping to pick things up as well. <laughs> nice rollover save. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
is also got a mini flip here off the eight pack into a moonwalk. Wow. Mmm, 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 Crazy save. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the end of the run right as the time expires out here for Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. <laughs> on that smoke out of the nostrils for you fans one last time as Armando goes back to the pits. Your score for Armando Castro in El Toro Loco is going to be a 39. Good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. Coming out next, this is Mark Hall in Raminator. Donut it right there with eight seconds left, and that is going to be the other run out of Mark Call and Raminator. What a donut! For Raminator and Sammy, he almost finished the time though. He did use his clock mostly, he just missed out in the last few seconds. They're gonna tell his truck back to the pits. Your score for Mark Hall in Raminator is going to be a 24. Good enough only for fifth place. Your leader is still going to remain Armando Castro and El Torloco. Coming out next out of Lafayette, Louisiana, this is Cody Sosie in Dragon. <laughs> Two minute timer will be starting now. Got a little bicycle and some moonwalk to get things started. Mm -hmm. Great save out here from Cody. Mm -hmm. 
competition last week in just her first ever event so let's see if she can try to get another win in freestyle here today in Megalodon. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, your score for Angelina Knock in Megalodon is going to be a 30. Good enough for fifth place, which means your BKT Tyrants freestyle winner is going to be none other than Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Congratulations, Diane, for Armando Castro and El Toro Loco to get this win. He had a crazy freestyle one, epic backflip in the moonwalk, huge air, technical maneuvers, crazy saves, just great run out for Armando Castro. And he's going to get another competition win out here this morning. 
He definitely needed this event and needed these points here, here for to try to get this overall event championship win and to try to catch up in the season standings as Armando really, really wants this series win really badly. And this is a, a step in the right direction for him as he's going to pick up the last eight points towards this morning's overall event championship. Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, now I'll wrap up this morning's event in Baltimore, Maryland. And let's take a look here and see who our overall event championship winner will be after getting a total of eight points in the JCB Racing Competition. Uh, six points in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Uh, seven points in Monster Jam Donuts. And eight points in the Be Get the Tires Freestyle Competition. For a total of 29, only winning because they only had a higher freestyle score. And then your overall event championship winner is going to be none other than Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Great job out for Armando Castro for the win. He burned it down. He had an amazing, amazing day today. Came this morning, you know, winning two competitions and finishing high in two of them. So, you know, this is something he really needed after a struggle last weekend in Green in Greensboro. Armando Castro only won by a tie because he had a higher freestyle score as he tied with Zach Garner in the overall. Speaking of the results, here is the results for the JCB Race Competition and the overall event championship. Then here's the results for the Great Clip Skills Challenge, Monster Jam Donuts, and the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Currently right now in the season standings, Armando Castro and El Toro Loco will take the lead in the points with 51. In second place is Cody Saussier and Dragon with 49. Third place is Zach Garner and Wildside with 41. Fourth place is Kirk Kramer and Ram with 36. Fifth place is Angelina Nock and Megalodon with 35. Sixth place is Mark Hall and Ram with 27 points. 7th place is Christian Anderson and Gravedigger with 26. And Chad Tingler and Overboard will be in last with 23 points. Very interesting how the points are shaping out. Armando Castro takes the lead, but he's only got a 2 point lead over Cody, so he cannot get comfortable. And Angelina, Kurt Kramer, and Zach Gunner are all also right there with them to try to catch Armando Castro. Then the bottom, the bottom 3 are really close here. Here, Mark Hall at Struggle in today's event will have him fall down a place. Kristen Anderson and Chad Tangler remain in the same place as they were. Whereas last weekend, Kristen is really hoping to climb out of the bottom as she is super close to Ooh, Mark Hall. If she can do good in the next event, she has a chance here to climb up um, a bit higher in the points. This tour's next stop will not be until next Sunday, January 28th in Washington, D.C. So we're going to head to Washington, D.C. Being out here in the capital or here in the United States and for another, um, for, for a great show. Oh, next Sunday morning. So everything you be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you guys can be notified for when the next stop on this tour comes out. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Have a God-blessed day.